Today's about doing the decent thing and getting us all on the same page concerning Starship's current status after a weekend of testing. Then we'll talk about what is still yet to come. I'm Kevin, and this is a breaking episode of SpaceX in the News. In the early hours of Sunday morning, SpaceX successfully performed an ambient stress test of SN4, filling both the methane and LOX tanks with nitrogen while checking for leaks from the increased pressure. And it was a great success! And because of the pass, the following night, SpaceX moved forward with the cryo test, this time filling SN4 up with liquid nitrogen. You can see the frost forming here in this sped up version of Lab Padre's stream. And Elon also shared some videos of the test, bootleg from their monitors that are hooked into some cameras under the vehicle. So yes, finally and thankfully, a Starship passed the cryo hurdle, only pushing her up to 4.9 bar, but that's enough pressure to take her to the skies. For an orbital vehicle, SpaceX will need to get that pressure up to six bar, but they'll make it happen. Why so confident? Well, for starters, they made it to 8.5 bar with an earlier test bed which is the pressure needed for human-rated flights. And since then, their welding has only improved and new processes are currently working their way through production. They haven't even begun using the planisher yet, and SpaceX engineers are also going to be switching to a more ductile steel later this year and implementing some changes to the geometry. This testing go-around was a little dicey because the thrust dome has four separate layers of steel in some places. But a new one is being designed. Also, in the future, a bigger press will be built, which would lengthen the height of the rings and reduce the number of welds. So great work, you sadistic engineers, on not murdering Starship this weekend, or my impatient hopes and dreams. Yes, she survived the torture techniques you threw at her, which is impressive considering the fact that these early test vehicles, or all rockets in general, really, want to explode. So now we can all move on to heating things up later this week with Starship's first static fire. This boom time will only now consist of a single Raptor engine, but the next victim will receive three. This means if all goes well with this next step, SN4 will do 150 meter hop. You do the math, one plus zero equals one, so that means she will hop with one Raptor. That could very well be happening in May. Elon has voted no confidence in his yet to be assembled Starship that will do the future 20 click flight. But just ignore his modesty. Elon also didn't think the Falcon Heavy's made in flight would survive. Crazy things can come true. I didn't really think this would work. Well, that's all for today with this short and to the point breaking news episode on Starship. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you Friday for the next one. Unless you're a live qualified eccentric member, in which case I'll see you right back here for the static fire. TBD. Until that time, have a normal weekend and Godspeed.